too surprised you made it this far. It serves me right for not being convincing enough. <laughs> Is this where you give your big speech? <laughs> Let's hear it. Maybe I'm just humoring you before I take what's mine. By just letting you walk away with the artifacts? I don't think so. I would enjoy knowing something I did confuse their uptight view of the multiverse.
the spoils. I said that right, right?
that bastard. The universe is a better place without him. How have you been? I can't wait to get to the Unity! I've been reading all about parallel universe theory, and I'm so ready to meet another version of me. You think it's okay if I call them Korra too? I'll have to check all my charts and double check all the locking mechanisms and see what kind of differences there are in the next universe. You know, in case we get into the kind of trouble we always do. Look, Dad said that there's a chance we might all get separated after we go to the Unity. You don't think that's going to happen, do you? That's what Dad said. I feel... kind of bad, you know? That I want to go anyway? I'm sure gonna miss the Lodge, but I can't wait to see what happens next. Welcome back. Be safe.
You made it. I hope you're enjoying the view. I never get tired of staring at it. Eternity. A thought occurs. Can anyone ever truly experience reality outside of oneself? All of time and space filters through a singular perspective. I am as much you as you are a part of everything. All points connect to here. When a star is born or dies, its existence beats through the heart of this place. The unity. I have seen all you are, have been, and could be. Do you feel like you've lived a good life? Is there anything you regret? That's good. You will need that clarity for what comes next. In order to become Starborn, you must give the universe one last thing. Yourself. That intangible part of you. That something that makes you unique amongst the infinite will explode like a supernova. A part of you will fuse with the essence of this universe, while another part leaves it behind forever. Do you understand what I mean? This one final leap will change this universe forever, even as you leave it behind. Much like the death of a star creates new kinds of matter, so will the part of your being become fused with the unity itself. That part is what becomes starborn and crosses into the multiverse. Through your eyes, it will be as if waking up from a dream. Walk into the gate of light and you will become starborn. Everything will vanish and you will awaken somewhere else. But that isn't your only potential destiny. You could turn around, walk away from the unity until the stars fade away, and you will wake up on your own ship. In your universe, you could live out the life you have. I have enjoyed speaking to you once again. All of you. Every version that is here in the unity, right now. Go out into the stars. As you consider stepping towards infinity, I offer you a glimpse into what will happen to the universe. Although you leave this universe behind, a new universe awaits you. Who will you be in this one? What choices will you make?
registered manufacturer. Please maintain course while we scan you. Assuming scans even work on whatever it is you're trying. Scan complete. You are clear to land in New Atlantis. Whoa, so, uh, this ship of yours, does it take standard, uh, you know what, we'll figure it out. Sure, how about it? I'm sure you can find something you like. I can assure you this unprovoked attack on a United Colonies research facility will not go unanswered. We'll get you settled into your new assignments as soon as possible. For you, Bobby, that includes meeting your new foster parent. My parents aren't dead. They just took a different shuttle. I'll see them when they get here. Oh. You will be scanned as you enter the city. Please keep moving. I wonder if I'll miss New Atlantis when Tony and I leave.
Excuse me, this is a private... Wait. There's something familiar about you. Vasco, identify. Scanning. Cross-referencing known employee records of our affiliated organizations. Please remain still. This appears to be the miner from Argos Extractors. Lost as we were carrying the artifact from Vectera. Current whereabouts previously unknown. I see. Vasco already delivered the artifact. So, why are you showing up now? You're a... I see. So some of our theories about the artifacts are correct. You're taking their word for it? What if this person's just delusional? Breathe in too many gases in that mining operation. Why don't we hear him out? We know next to nothing. We have everything to gain if he's telling the truth. All right, let's hear it. So, that's what we're looking for. The pieces to an armillary. A path to the center of a multiverse. This is either the truth or the most elaborate practical joke I've ever witnessed. I think we're past the point of doubting, Walter. In any event, we'll be able to see for ourselves. We know where most of the artifacts are now and, presumably, how we get them. And if what you've told us about the Starborn is to be believed, we'll need all the help we can get. I want you to check with Vladimir on the eye. Cross-reference what you've told us with what he's picking up on the scans. You track down the artifacts the eye finds, while we gather the others. I... I hope that other Sarah of yours knows you're safe. Now let's get those artifacts. <laughs> 